I'm helping mom make coffee. Today I'm gonna be sharing a healthy weekly meal prep on WW. multi-grain blend with vegetables from Trader Joe's. So beautiful, lots of colors, fresh veggies ready to eat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna be sharing a healthy weekly meal prep on WW. It is summertime, the kids are home from school. Lila has some activities going on, so this isn't gonna be like a meal prep that I just like knock it out in two hours. I'm gonna have to see how I can get it done over the course of the day today. Sneak things in when I can, this is real life. But I know with how busy everything has been with the summer, it's gonna be beneficial to me and my health journey. Just have a few easy meals prepped on hand, get my fruit and produce all prepped and ready to snack on throughout the week so I can make good choices. We're gonna be making some cold brew coffee. I have a couple lunch or dinner options, depending on what we need them for. We're gonna be making some delicious homemade sourdough English muffins today that I can either use for breakfast for me and the kids or maybe even make into some healthy breakfast sandwiches. So come along with me as we get prepped for a healthy week ahead. What do you think? Mmm. I love the smell of coffee. I love having fresh brewed cold brew coffee in my refrigerator in the summer. This cold brew coffee pitcher makes it so easy to do at home. You just add eight to 10 tablespoons of your favorite coarse ground coffee to the center filter. Fill the pitcher with water, screw the filter top back on, give it a shake and let it brew in your fridge overnight. And in the morning you have fresh cold brew ready for your first cup of coffee. All right, you gotta shake it now, it's all tight. Ready? Two hands, shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Go, shake, 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 shake. I'm helping mom make coffee. And if I have fresh cold brew, obviously we need to restock my homemade sweet cream coffee creamer. The simplest, tastiest recipe for coffee creamer, it's one can of sweetened condensed milk, a pint of fat-free half and half, I shake it up in a mason jar, add a splash of vanilla extract, and it's ready to use, and keeps in my fridge for about two weeks. This is my sourdough English muffin dough. It's been fermenting on the counter overnight, I followed the recipe from Little Spoon Farm and I will definitely link the blog post with full recipe and instructions in the description box below. We haven't bought bagels, English muffins, French bread, or sourdough loaves since last fall at this point. It's something fun I do with my daughter a lot and I find the whole process really relaxing. I also love that there's no hidden sugars or preservatives and there's a lot of gut healthy nutrition to sourdough products. So I made the dough the night before and it sat on the counter for about 12 hours overnight. This morning I just have to roll out the dough and then I cut out my muffins. You can do this using a cookie cutter, a three inch biscuit cutter. I'm using the ring from one of my ball mason jars which was about the right size. I lay them on a tray that's coated with some cornmeal and then sprinkle more cornmeal on top. Then these do need to rest one more hour at room temperature covered with a tea towel. And then they are ready to bake on the stovetop. In a nonstick pan that's been preheated to medium heat, I lay a single layer of muffins spaced about an inch or two apart. And then they get covered and they cook for four minutes. Then we're flipping them over to the other side, covering and cooking another four minutes for eight minutes total cook time. You'll see that they've puffed up and are just slightly brown on the outside. You can also use a digital thermometer and check the internal temperature has reached 200, which means they're fully cooked. Sourdough English muffins come in at four points each on the WW plan. These I serve simply toasted with a little bit of butter or homemade jam. They also make a really great option for at home breakfast sandwiches with eggs and turkey sausage or bacon. And even though this makes a pretty large batch, these keep well in the freezer so I can just grab them out when you want them. Time to prep our fruit and veggies for the week.
I love having those red produce bins for my fresh fruit. The only problem is now with two little girls in the house, we have so much fruit in the house all the time, always being gone through, that both of my bins are being used for fruit. But before, I used to use one for fruit and one for fresh veggies, and we always had them cut up and ready to eat as side dishes with dinner or lunch, just easy, fresh raw veggies and dip. So I got a new container. Look at how cute this is. Um, I thought of the girls for this because it would be fun to take as like a picnic charcuterie little takeaway as well to fill all the different sections with different things. But I'm gonna be using this for my refillable raw veggie tray this week. And then my thought is if I have all of the veggies washed and prepped just like our fresh fruit, and then in the middle we can put a little dip, we can just pull this out for lunches and dinners and snacks and hopefully start eating more raw veggies because I feel like lately a lot of ours have been going to waste and going bad before we can get to them. So this cute little flower container comes with a lid. Um, it's from Amazon. I'll link it in my description box below. But what I loved about it was all of these are individual sections, so if you go through something, you can just take this out and clean it or flip something else into the tray, um, or you could take them all out and use this as one large container for, I don't know, something if you're doing a barbecue or chips or a big salad. I don't know, I thought it was kind of multifunctional. I thought it was really cute for with the kids, so I've already gone ahead and washed this out fully, so now I'm just going to fill each section with some fresh veggies that we picked up this week. And I think in the middle I'm gonna do a ranch dip. So we're gonna do some baby carrots in a section. These beautiful um, cherry tomatoes that I just washed. I'll put you in here. And each of these compartments holds a good amount. Like this would be plenty big if you were doing a party and plenty big for us to last like most of the week just to have some fresh veg on hand, ready and prepped. Okay, I'm just gonna slice these cute little baby cucumbers into some slices. These would also be great for dipping sliced into like long sticks. So I'm gonna do like our little sticks in one. Hopefully these fit, yeah. They just fit. And the rounds in another. And there we go, so beautiful. Lots of colors, fresh veggies ready to eat. Um, I left the middle compartment empty for now because we're just gonna be eating this at home this week. I already have some prepackaged hummus from what we purchased in our grocery haul and I have the Bolthouse Farms Greek Yogurt Ranch Classic Dressing which is in a bottle in the fridge and to me it seemed pointless to pour it into a separate container as opposed to just taking it out when we need it. But that would be really helpful if I wanna get adventurous and maybe make some different kind of flavor dips. I'm gonna link again this one in the description box. If you don't want one that's so cutesy, I also found another one that I'm thinking of purchasing just to have two on hand because I think they are really nice to have around for if you're having parties or barbecues or people over. Um, and that one's not like colorful and flower shaped. It's a lock and lock one, I believe is the brand which I've had other Tupperware of before and I really trust. So I will link both of those options in the description box below so you guys can take a look and see what works for you. A bit more food prep. We did a huge grocery haul from Costco and Kroger yesterday. So I need to get the bulk meat that I bought broken down and ready for the freezer. This was a huge six pound package of 88-12 ground beef. I'm using my food scale to weigh out one pound portions and put them in individual freezer gallon Ziploc bags. My favorite way to store bulk ground meat is to put them in freezer Ziploc bags and then roll them out flat so they can stack. This saves so much freezer space and also because they're rolled so thin, the meat thaws really fast. 
So no more, oops, I forgot to take the meat out of the freezer the night before. What are we gonna do for dinner tonight? I can grab one of these one pound packages of meat out of the freezer and it's thawed within an hour. This has really helped eliminate the pressure of being prepared to make dinner every night. And it's kept my freezer really organized. We also bought a rotisserie chicken. Yes, the children and I dug into this for dinner last night, which is why some of it's already gone, but I didn't get around to pulling the rest of it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the skin and bones, pull and shred all of the dark meat to store together. And then I'm also going to remove the rotisserie chicken breast and keep that separately. But I like to do this because with WW, rotisserie chicken breast, as long as it's skinless, is zero points as opposed to the dark meat, which you will have to count some points for. Here's a little look at a summer tuna noodle pasta salad that I'm prepping for lunches this week. This one is definitely nostalgic for me. My mom used to make it when I was a kid. I love pasta salad in the summer. I did do a little bit of a lighter twist on the dressing for this, swapping out the traditional all mayo dressing for mostly plain non-fat Greek yogurt with just a little bit of mayo for flavor, adding in fresh lemon juice and spices. This one is so good and you get a really decent sized portion of pasta salad for eight points on the WW plan. Nora took a good nap, so I got through a lot of that this morning, a lot more than I thought I was going to get through, but now I'm going to sit down and have some lunch with the kids. I'm having some of our tuna noodle salad I just made, and then the kids have um, kind of little snack plates with some of the cut up veggies we just made, and they're trying out the English muffins. The English muffins came out really good. This is only maybe the second time I've made that recipe. So I have made a few adjustments, like the very first set that I put in the pan, I don't think the pan was quite hot enough because the steam didn't build up to puff them up as much. But by the time I got to the second and third round in the pans, like so two thirds of the batch I made came out really good. They have a little bit of that toasted brown on the outside, just a little though. They could be a little bit browner, but I think it's because I'm using a nonstick pan instead of a cast iron. But I have found that a cast iron gets too hot too quick, so. I don't know, pick your poison, I guess. They came out pretty good though. Hey guys, okay, it's a while later. We've done dinner, bedtime and bath time and all that good stuff with the kids. I got a pretty good amount done today. Lots of prepping, our fresh produce. I got some of our bulk meats prepared for easy use throughout the week. Those fresh homemade English muffins, which were so delicious. And a lunch prep with the summer tuna noodle pasta salad. I have one more prep I wanted to do today, but to be honest, like because I don't travel outside of the home for work, I don't necessarily need to prep everything into little individual containers and it just takes up a lot of room in my fridge space. So I have this really easy multi-grain blend with vegetables from Trader Joe's. This is a frozen package. And since I have all of that yummy rotisserie chicken shredded, ready to eat, I'm just gonna make this package up tomorrow afternoon, serve it with the rotisserie chicken for myself for lunch. And then I'll just package up the leftover grain blend in the fridge and I can just pull out a serving of that along with the chicken for another either lunch or dinner option for the week. But I'm feeling a little bit burnt out. I feel very done. <laughs> 
for the night. I just got the kitchen all cleaned up, so I don't really want to do anything else tonight in regards to meal prep. But I think we got a lot done. I think we're gonna be in a good spot to have some good healthy choices this week. Thank you guys so much for following along my weekly meal prep for WW. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video so I know you want more like it. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next one. And until next time, bye. bye.